alaikum and welcome to Mind Matters, a podcast from the MSU College of Health Sciences. I am Fatma Asha. And I am Raisa. Here, we'll listen to your concern and easing the mind, amplifying your stories to fight degradation and to let people understand how we battle every day. Indeed, indeed, partner, especially in these trying times, COVID-19 pandemic. Yes. We are easily triggered by personality disorders, you know? Absolutely. People tend to ignore these disorders because they believe that having these personality disorders are just exaggerated actions and some sort of dramas. Yes, you know what? It is difficult for them to express their thoughts and feelings as well. Indeed, as people don't understand that those actions cannot be controlled. But today is a special day for you, our dear listeners. We are joined today with our beloved two brilliant nursing students from MSU CHS to enlighten us to our topic for today. Let's welcome Mr. Mujahid and Ms. Juhara on our session. Good morning, Good morning, dear, dear listeners. listeners. Pleasant morning to our dear listeners. This 28th day of May, 10.29 in the morning, we are about to tackle an amazing story from our caller. Yes, and I'm so excited because this is something you don't want to miss. You know what, partner? There are several clusters of personality disorders. Ooh. And for today, we will going to be enlightened with Cluster B Personality Disorder. Yes, and I think it is not that familiar with me. Let's welcome today's episode, Mind Matters Slowly Freeing Myself. Dear Mind Matters, I am Maria and I have personality disorder. I am here to share my story. I am a single woman without a job, so therapy at age 33 for treatment of depressed mood, chronic thoughts of killing myself, and having no social contact for many months. I had spent the last six months alone in my apartment, lying in bed, eating junk food, watching TV, and doing more online shopping that I could afford. I was the middle of the three children in a wealthy immigrant family. My father believed that value work success over all else. He often cursed at us and hit all three of us and I most of all. I felt alone through my school years and had bouts of feeling depressed. Within my family, I was known for angry outbursts. I had done well in high school but dropped out of college because of problems with my roommate and my professor. I had a series of jobs with the hope that I could return to college, but I kept quitting because I think both us are idiots. These traumas always left me feeling bad about myself. I can't even succeed as a clerk and angry at my bosses that I think that I could run the place better than any of them. I had dated men when I was younger, but after a few weeks of bliss at finding the perfect partner, I would feel hurt and angry when they did not pay enough attention to me or return my calls fast enough. I would end the relationship before they could hurt me even more. I sometimes caught myself would make myself bleed using a knife on purpose when I was feeling empty and depressed. I was often down and depressed, but that dozens of times, for one to two days, I would act on impulse with great risk of my safety. These involve drug abuse and reckless driving. Doing these things would often make me feel better. I had been in psychiatric treatment since age 17 and had stayed in psychiatric hospital three times after over three overdoses. During the session, I described shame at my lack of job success. I believe I was very able and simply didn't know why I hadn't done better in life. Toward the end of the first session, I became angry with the doctor after he glanced at the, dro- at the clock. You know what? I'm thinking that he is bored. In terms of social contact, I know people who live in my building, 
but most of them had become frauds or losers. There were few people from school who were online friends on social websites who were doing big things all over the world. I was diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and major depressive disorder. I could not stay at jobs or in school and has problems with anger control, reckless acts, self-harm such as cutting, feeling empty, and paranoid thoughts. I refused prescribed medications because when I take those drugs, I have no feelings. I can't even cry at a sad movie. Instead, I was referred for a form of psychotherapy called Dialectical Behavior Therapy or DBT. It helped me know and manage my thoughts and feelings and teaches, and teaches me calming methods. DBT helped me learn how to feel more in control of my extreme feelings as well as I when, as when I felt empty or paranoid. I learned skills to stop judging myself and others. After many months, I was able to get and keep a job. I slowly able to have healthier friendships with both women and men, but struggled at times to get along with others. At least I am slowly healing myself. So, dear mind mothers, Cluster B personality disorder, what I'm having right now. I hope as I share my story, people get to know more about Cluster B personality disorder. Thank you. Thank you, Maria, for sharing your story with us. In spite of your experiences, you stand firm and bravely face your situation. Indeed, you are a warrior. Mr. Mujahid would like to share something to us. Yes, Mr. Mujahid. Thank you, Miss Raisa. You know, when you say personality disorder, this is all about thinking and feeling for yourself and others that can directly affect how you function daily. Miss Maria, you are right. Not many people know about Cluster B personality disorder. Basically, Cluster B personality is more unaffected and impulsive. It actually composes of four disorders, the antisocial, borderline, narcissistic, and histrionic. Oh, so when you aggressively showing your actions or being too much impulsive. Yes, yes. You know, when you say too much impulsive, it falls under borderline disorder. You know, like when you act without regard of consequences, having too much conflicts and arguments, they are unable to control it when their anger outbursts. They often have this negative image of themselves and feel like they are on a roller coaster having so much ups and downs. But despite of that, they are afraid to be abandoned. Being impulsive is associated with antisocial as well. Cluster B personality disorder that are antisocial, they tend to disregard or are concerned about the feelings of others. They can keep relationships. They are incapable of feeling guilty or remorse. Simply, they are lacking of empathy, and these individuals sometimes act irresponsibly and they even break some rules. You are right, Ms. Aguam. With regards to that, histrionic personality disorder are intense as well. They have dramatic expressions of emotion that can be excessive. They are uncomfortable when the attention is not on them. That's why they may engage to higher level of seeking attention such as being too much dramatic, seductive, sexually proactive behavior. And in some scenarios, just draw attention, they are using their physical appearances. Their emotions as well are shallow and rapidly shifting. And when they speak of their opinions, they tend to say it strongly dramatic. And they are easily influenced by others. Oh, so that's how it is. They are more on expressing themselves than can be too excessive just to draw attention? Absolutely. Now, we are finished with borderline, antisocial, and heteronic. We are about to move on to narcissistic personality disorder. I think we are all versed with narcissists, right? Yes. Loving himself more than anything. 
So my question, Miss Johara, is that is there a connection of like loving yourself and being narcissistic? You know, how does it flow to disorder? Yes, yes. Like histrionic disorder, narcissistic disorder also requires excessive admiration. The key point here is their excessive self-importance. They believe they are more special and unique than others. They have this pervasive grandiosity and take advantage of others. Some as other disorders, they lack of empathy and seem as arrogant. They exaggerate their achievements and fantasize about being, you know, powerful, attractive, and successful. You know what? They have no interest on others, but they expect others to treat them highly. And sometimes they feel envious, but most of the time they think they are invade. So that is Cluster B Personality Disorder, the antisocial, borderline, narcissistic, and histrionic. Well, that was very informative. Thank you for joining us today, Mr. Mujahid and Ms. Juhara. Our, Our pleasure. pleasure. Ms. Maria, we hope that we had granted your wish to discuss more about Cluster B Personality Disorder. You know what, partner? I haven't able to, you know, notice about these personalities. Yes, me too. Now I understand more how our mind works. Brilliant, brilliant indeed. For our dear listeners, hope you learned something from us today. Let's spread love and understanding for a better world. So let's wrap it up. Thanks for listening to My Mother's Podcast. Stay tuned for our next exciting episodes. Yours truly... Mind Mothers.